ES Cinder remix of Dark Souls 3 by Rotaka. Folks, you don't know yet what that song means, but we're gonna <laughs> well, we're gonna tell you anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Tell insert me more. credits round fifty two. You're hearing things. You are hearing things. Namely also. us. Yes, you may have saw something before, but don't worry about that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'll say F U twenty seventeen. I forgot I had already picked out a name, and then I picked out a new name. Oh. Yeah, I'm well. like, oh well, whatever. Yeah. It, it can be both. It can be both. FU 2017. FU 2017. But no, it's Insert Credits. Hello, everybody. I'm Mr. Bond. I'm Tormod. And I'm Saxon. It's Friday. It's the first show of 2018. We're hyped. It's true. Mm-hmm. We've had a lot of things before this to get us hype. We have. Well, I mean, some more than others, but... <laughs> well, it's true. That's <laughs> true, but... I got, got hype for a whole week. Mm. <laughs> well, we got hype for 16 hours of our own thing. Yeah. We did. In the midst of chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Chaos and weird shit in 2017 being the d bag that it is. Uh, mm-hmm. was was sorry yeah. was that's right. <laughs> it's, we it's killed gone it now. We killed it. Nobody cares. <laughs> the dumpster fire that was 2017. Yeah, and we also got hype for new tunes. We've got a new opener. You just heard. I it. know it's that awesome. it it rocks my socks off. It's the best. Except your stocks are still on. Just saying. Uh, we'll fix it in post. Okay. <laughs> Let's not. Well, those aren't on the cam. It's fine. It's fine. People can just believe okay. that they have been rocked off. Then then my socks are, are off. All right. Very good. Let's lie to the people straight off the gate in 2018. <laughs> housekeeping, housekeeping, housekeeping. Obviously, this is the first show of 2018. Um, starting from here on out, we'll be archiving these on the YouTubes as well as the normal standard audio recording. So you'll see our wonderful faces. Ooh. Uh, if you care to do that, um, post be, be posting links to that after it gets processed and such. Usually won't take more than a couple days, but figure that's something new we'll do for 2018 onward just to keep things fresh. In addition to our posted recordings, yes. which are at the Zero Hour Productions website. So mm-hmm. Correct. That's always available, as you can see, at the bottom of your screen there. It has a link to the podcasts and also the direct stream. But if you go to that podcasts link, we have a web player there. So you can listen live there as well as to all of our previous episodes for this and Seeking Infinity. Correcto mundo. Couldn't have said it better myself. There we go. I'm glad you remembered because I didn't. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as, ouch, as far as uh, next stream. Oh, yeah. Have we even thought about that yet? No, I don't think Guess so. Guess what we're going to do. Well, we're going to be super cool professionals and do it right now. Guess what? It's going to be on the 16th. Is it? Yep. Okay. I think that's fine. <laughs> Cool. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. Good. What was that around fifty? Or the twenty third. It's up to you. But nah, sixteen is fine. I like him in middle of the month. Yep. Same. Say fuck you to the first half of the month, and please don't fuck us second half of the month. Yeah, I'm done with that. All right, round fifty three. Cool. How about fifty four? Can we do fifty four right away? While we're uh, here? yeah, we can. We can go back to the sixteenth again. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm also gonna be on call again. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Creditors. Round 53. Okay. That's probably good for now. Cool. Uh, I don't think there's any more housekeeping stuff. So, around the world, I already oh, yes. covered the first bit, which was our archive thing. I yeah. do want to cover one more thing. Oh, so, yeah. if we All do right. want to schedule one for April, mm-hmm. uh, we are going to have a conflict with the middle of the month because of uh, Midwest Gaming Classics. So, we're going to have to move it to the 20th for April. April. Oh, that's in April. Yeah. You're right. Real Shit. soon. All right. Well, the 20th it is then. That's fine. It's going to be, what, three months away. Nice. I had to think. Confirm basic math. There we go. It's going to be really cool to go back there. Um, well, it's going to be our first time at the Milwaukee City Center. Yeah, because they're in a new venue this time. the Sheraton in Brookfield. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Totally they different hotel. They have they much more space this time. Yeah, they needed that it. That sounds good. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. Yeah. Very good. All right. Well, that'll be more towards the end of April. That's fine. And we'll determine May, et cetera, whatever later. That's, we got a lot of time to figure that shit out. Anyways, around the world. ROM hackers have updated Super Mario Land 2 with six golden coins with color. Yes, they have. That is fantastic. And Luigi, including the weird floaty physics that Luigi usually has. The the weird floaty physics was more a thing in SMB2. Yeah. But... Well, I mean, usually most modern-ish... Mario games have always had Luigi be kind of oh, weird. I suppose. Yeah. They're eh. Luigi, though, so whatever. <laughs> so they turned a yep. normal Game Boy game into a Game Boy Color game, which is pretty neat. Yeah, great job. Good job, guys. Good job. 
Uh, Las Vegas is getting their first dedicated esports arena to open up in March. That's kind of weird. Dedicated esports arena. I know, right? Wow. Like, are they going to well, be able to keep that place packed? That Los Angeles has been year? getting Vegas? So. Los Angeles? Las Vegas. 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 Okay. Vegas oh, Vegas. interesting. Well, didn't they also just... No, wait. Which Los or Los, whatever, just got a sports team? Uh, they bought somebody out. There was a football team. I swear it was. Yeah, the football yeah. team did move. I have no idea who. Heck. <laughs> well, they've been getting a lot of sports out in that region of the the continent, mm-hmm. I guess. And uh, now it's yeah, apparently it's been good. So let's hope that the esports are good too. Mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah, I don't think they'll have any trouble filling it up. I mean, west, west, right? Uh, east, right? Yeah. Yeah. West coast. <laughs> uh, west coast has been pretty good for esports, regardless. I think so. Being now in Vegas, in the heart of all the crazy shit that goes down in Vegas, yeah, not really that much of a surprise. Yeah with all the gambling and such. Oh boy, gambling. Yay. Yay. Now you can gamble on esports. Not that they weren't before. Yeah, yeah. No kidding, right? Speaking of esports. Oh no. FIFA is starting their push for esports teams following oh. NBA's push into esports. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yep. Sports, sports, sports. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get fantasy esports soon. I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> I would not be shocked at all if that is a thing. Oh no. I'm sure it's will become <laughs> a thing. I might be working with that thing. Uh, we just gotta wait me. for somebody to come in with like some sort of obscene name and like they yeah. have to censor it on oh, TV everywhere. Oh, well. <laughs> damn. Damn. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Fuck shit. Cock. Oh, dang it. No, I just remember Oh wait. There was some spoof or something that was was it South Park where it's like Big Cock sixty nine or something like that? I can't remember. It was their MMO one. Oh, the World of Warcraft? Oh, I, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember that one much. Oh, that's when they were flirting online with the ASL and all that stuff, and he was confused as to what... You have a big chicken, etc. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> never mind. It's, it's a long time ago. I don't remember that. Uh, plus, we have a recap of our end of 2017 marathon, but mm-hmm. we'll all be contributing to that. Oh, so excellent. So yeah. we'll leave that to later. Indeed. Proceed, please. All right, well, topics. Wow. I mean, we had the end of 2017. Well, I guess we'll wrap up with marathons. How about that? Oh, mm-hmm. sorry, sorry. Quick update on the Vegas thing. Vegas got the Raiders. Yeah, ah, Las okay. Vegas got the Raiders. So nice. Vegas is bumping with the sports and the esports now. Apparently, the Raiders. The Raiders. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Boy, did you pick a time to show up, Tina? Good job. I like that. Who needs Ouija? Everybody needs Ouija. Whatever. Mm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's see here. So no, it must have been Los Angeles is got a, a, their own team now because was it hockey? I don't remember. There was some sports team that as soon as they moved or rather they may have started their own new team there. They ended up being like super successful and shut out the other team. The first opening night. Oh, uh, I yeah. don't know. It was big news back then, but that was like two months ago. So, Oh yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. It's in 2017. Was it basketball? I don't know. Shrug. That was in 2017. FU 2017. We, we, we don't talk about yes. 2017. <laughs> FU 2017. Indeed. That's so, great. All right, I'll get to game things here. Um, let's see here. Final Fantasy XII. Ah, uh, uh, finally. Releases on uh, Steam on the 1st of February with 60 FPS and 21 by 9 aspect ratio support. Yeah, that was that came out of, you know, came I, out of left field. So I'm really pleased at this. I I've never had an ultra wide monitor. I'm kind of curious now. They call those oh, like the 4K ultra wides are 5K because I guess oh, that's right. what they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of want to get one sometime to actually see what that's like because I think that would be interesting. That's one of those curved things that I've seen. Ugh. Pretty yeah. sure. <laughs> I don't. Do they have to be curved? They like, don't have, they to, don't be. have yeah. to. The majority be of them, I think, are. Yeah. Supposedly LG's got one for like less than a grand now, so I'm kind of curious, but um, I'm, I'm let's used see to here. seeing the 21 by nines, not the. Well, that's what this is. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Nine, 20... 30, I'm sorry, 32 by 9s. Oh, like the super the, the, ultra like the wide? Double, yeah, the but, double wide. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you on that. Yeah, those are actually really cool, and that was something I was considering for a while, but, you know, money mm-hmm. and space. Mm-hmm. Actually, when I... Oh, heck. When we move, I'm going to have an office with a desk, and I could put monitors on it. <laughs> Don't put them on the desk. Put them on the wall. Yeah, fair. <laughs> I mean, I may as well at that point. Yeah, but, exactly. Yeah, it's just going to be exciting. I'm not used to having a freaking office anymore. That's going to be great. Um, let's see here. But yeah, that's exciting. 60 FPS though. That's totally new to the series. Or at least for that game, it was 30 before. 
Yeah. Um, Did they not have a previous PC release? No, not FF12. No. Never. Huh. It was always PS2 and then... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The Zodiac right. Age was PS4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Xbox. Don't know. Nobody cares about Xbox. Um, mm. Let's see here. Plus, it has, like, the full gamut of cheats that, like, the normal game when released on PC would have now. Like fast forward. it's like speed and up and you can get max scale, things like that. Can so. you turn off battles and stuff too? That gives yeah. points. <laughs> well, I mean, they, it's whatever. I mean, for me, I don't want to fucking grind out that shit again. I, I just want to kind of pick up where I left off. Now, if I could do like a save in port, that would be the best. Uh, That'd be awesome. Otherwise, I'll just replay it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> At this point, it's going to be fine. Uh, which, which game was it with the auto battle? Like, uh, like the serious auto battle is a mobile is a, FF4 is it DS bravely default. Is that had did that have an auto battle? That didn't have auto battle. It had um. Well, did it? I, I don't, don't remember now. I don't think it did. <laughs> I feel like there was a mobile title of the RPG genre that auto oh there battle were was like a huge thing of it. I'm well, maybe not the huge <laughs> thing, but I know the the DS remakes of FF3 and 4 had auto battle in them. Mm, it could be the, that, that, that was back could. in like the mid 2000s though. So. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Shrug. Uh, hmm. Now you have me thinking. It's been forever since I played Bravely Default. That's the problem. So I don't want to go back. I never finished the game. Mm. Accidentally spoiled the ending of the first game by watching the prologue for the second game. Well, Damn don't it. do Whoops. that. <laughs> I, I'm thinking, man. That was dumb. That game sounds wonderful. Oh, like, the soundtrack is amazing. It, but like, I, he- I heard uh, it while you were playing it. I'm like, oh, that is a really good soundtrack. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's outstanding. I actually got to get a copy of that imported. But regardless, I got to move on. Uh, FF15 Royal Edition is Royal. a thing. It's releasing on the 6th of March for PS4 and X-Bone, including a new first-person mode, a new dungeon, and more. It also includes all of the previous DLC and some skins and whatever the heck else. I don't know what the price is, and initially, Sony said that it was going to be a nineteen ninety nine upgrade for uh-huh. the people who already own the season pass. But They've since retracted that. In a good way or a bad way? I don't know. <laughs> they might call or charge more. I don't want that. Oh, no. I might just freaking wait for the PC version because I'm sure it's going to have all the same stuff. And let's face it, a PC is going to outperform any console right now. Mm. So especially mm. when its recommended spec is an overclocked 1080 Ti. <laughs> well, good luck finding anything like that nowadays. I have one. I know. <laughs> but for anybody who doesn't. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. It's called Get Down on Those Mass Drops. Yeah, that is a good way to actually get cards. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, Windows Edition. Royal Edition? No. Nintendo Direct has revealed additional titles and DLC. Darkest Dungeon is coming to the Switch yesterday. What? Came to the Switch yesterday. Hmm. Yes. And oh, supposedly it's a bit cool. of a remaster, too. Huh. So it's got some fluidity updates. That's all I've heard. I did hear about that update. I think that did make it to the Steam version as well. Nice. Uh, Dark Souls. Coming out on the 25th of May. Dark Supposedly, S- that's a remaster as well. Dark Souls 1, I believe, it's what it's, is what it's yeah, called. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see here. The World Ends With You is coming to Switch. It used to be a DS title. It was very prolific for its interesting RPG antics back in the... Uh, I want to say it came out in 2006, 2007, yeah, maybe? DS days, yeah. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Mario Tennis Aces was announced. Nice. So... I'm actually kind of looking forward to that. I've never mm. actually played any of the Mario sports games, you know, outside of like Mario Kart, I guess that counts. I played the OG Mario Tennis for 64. That was nice. a fun game. Mm-hmm. You being a tennis player, I can see that. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, that doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> well, I mean, like that might drive fun. some interest. It but, was fun. You know, it was neat. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey is getting three pieces, I think three, of free DLC. Free. Ooh. F-R-E-E, as in beer, question mark? You already paid for the main game, so... Yeah. 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 I don't know, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's free as in some kind of alcoholic beverage you don't have to pay for. So there you go. All right, free beer. Indeed. Uh, let's see here. Dragon Quest Builders releases on Switch on the 9th of February, which includes a Great Saber Cub mount that's exclusive to the Switch release. The Great Saber Cub is apparently a thing in earlier Dragon Quest games, but I'm not sure you could actually use it as a mount. Pretty sure it was just a special enemy before. But... Outside of marathon stuff, that's all the news I got. How about you? Ooh, it's my turn. And I had your Twitch chat up, so I was... Yeah. Um, I am professional. Everybody. <laughs> just, uh, just, go, just go with it, man. Be the most professional you can be. Yeah. Row, row, fight the power. <laughs> so right. um, 
I, I'm not sure who here has uh, attempted to shop for uh, GPUs <laughs> in the last month or two, but uh, it's been made incredibly difficult with, with such a short supply. Thank you, cryptocurrency miners. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you fucks. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bitcoin tanked back down to half its value. That it was. So. <laughs> Take yeah. that, you fucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, that, that's... It's weird because it's actually made it almost more appealing to buy a pre-built machine with the graphics card that you're looking for and make a build around that as opposed to like parting it out yourself. Like it's it's almost more economic to do that now. It's crazy. Yeah. RAM's kind of expensive too, but I I I'm not sure if that's related or not. It's getting better or yeah. so I hear. Yeah, supposedly the uh silicon prices for DDR4 will drop by 25%. I've yet to see that because I still have half a PC's worth of parts sitting at my condo <laughs> and I kind of want to build because mm-hmm. I need a stream PC. It's going to be a very nice PC. Mm, yeah, eventually. Plus GDDR6 is around the corner too. They're starting to mass produce the chips for it. Good. Ooh. So I'm anticipating that the 1100 series will have that. I hope so. And uh, yeah, um, I'm not buying an AMD GPU, so... <laughs> <laughs> you can't even find one. Well, that if you buy an Intel processor, you can get one. <laughs> That's true. I think we already mentioned that last. We month. did. We did. Yeah, I was going to say because that is. They yeah. showed that off at, at CES, which is another thing that I'm going to cover. Yeah, go um, for it. So yeah, um, so you got to see the uh, the um, package. It's they base. It's basically like two distinct units on the same package, um, where one side is like the Intel CPU, and the other side is like. The uh, AMD, um, I think it's RX Vega M um, on the other side. And like since they're attached to the same package, like they have dedicated PCI Express lanes, like just really tiny lanes that connect the two, which are really cool. Yeah, it's direct communication between the two, which is pretty great. I'm not going to say no to that, but at the same time, I'm skeptical. But you know exactly where this is going to end up. And I said the same thing last year or at last show. It's going to end up in new MacBook Pros. You absolutely oh, know. Oh, yeah, that. It's for been sure. Intel <laughs> slash AMD <laughs> GPU on these buggers for the last two years now, at least. Yeah. You know so, Apple is yeah. going to be, like, the biggest customer of stuff like that. Oh, yeah, and they're going to cause a shortage, and that's going to make the prices <laughs> go up for the other OEMs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Typical Apple stuff. Yeah. Um, other stuff that, that uh, debuted at CES 2018. Um, <laughs> EVGA... Uh, decided for whatever reason to create a 2200 watt PSU. Oh, God damn it! Yeah, yeah and apparently it takes 240 volt main. Yeah, they. Yeah. You can't run it on our mains here. It's like it's just on an appliance outlets. <laughs> really. I mean, yeah. at that point, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because feasibly, <laughs> its only use is for freaking crypto mining. Pretty much. Yeah. Like and, how and many you know, 1080 Ti's can you strap in together, or whatever the hell the new expensive one is? I think they've gotten up to 14 now. A 14 oh Titan XP shrug. <laughs> oh, good lord! With neat little hacks to like reduce your your PCI Express uh, connections down to like one X, so that you can just <laughs> use a whole bunch of them. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to actually say this response. Yes, Tina, you do hear people saying mining. It's <laughs> we just now <laughs> a, another way that uh, feds can look at people and be like, that's a grow house. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Gross. People <laughs> mining to cover their weed ops. Yeah. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be funny to me. Hmm, there's no snow on that roof. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they got a Bitcoin today. Yeah. What's with the greenhouse out back? Oh, that's just my mining setup. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. It's got to it's gotta have humidity or something. Oh, my God. <laughs> just don't ask him about Bitcoin or he won't shut up. Oh, God. Ethereum. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, other stuff at uh, CES 2018. Um, the Vive Pro and uh, the, the wireless adapter. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Yeah, there's a wireless adapter for Vive. Yeah. Well, there was one a while back uh, that uh, TP, TP-Link made Drug. called the TP-Cast. But uh, that was exclusive to China, however. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's it's a first-party thing now. Um, and essentially, it's just you know a wireless adapter for all the sound and, and other stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's going to be really cool. Um, Samsung debuted uh, QLED displays. Which I guess like have just another marketing, yeah, jizz out a term kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So we're gonna see how all well that goes. 
Um, wait, that wasn't a debut. I swear they had that last year at CES. I don't know if that's exactly. They, they might have announced like the technology, but they actually had models on the floor. Um, this at the CES. I wonder if this is a rebranding of their Quantum Dot garbage. Uh, oh, it might be. Well, I mean, that's a big thing for everybody now. Oh well, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I shouldn't CES say garbage. Supposedly, it's pretty good, but. It might just be the combo of those two. Like, yeah, this was debuted fun. last year at CES 2017. Really? They QLED. must have just debuted new models then. because. Mm. Yeah, it could be. The, these might actually be like the first consumer viable models or something yeah. like that. The I was going to say, because I swear that sounded like I know you, you've talked about it before, but yeah. So they're, essentially they're, they have consumer models. Um, and then, you know, in addition, there are other consumer models um, of, uh, you know, kind of like new tech coming out. Um, Intel, uh, Optane, I guess they're sticking it into, um, like larger and larger SSDs. Now they unveiled the, uh, the 58 and the 118 gig models, um, which, uh, are, I mean, they don't seem like a whole lot. Um, but given what it is, it's, uh, also like incredibly fast. Um, it's just odd sizes to me. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. I'm, I'm not really sure why that is, but. Maybe they're finally being accurate about the over provisioning of it. I don't, <laughs> right. I don't, I don't know. I, I, they probably don't have to be so aggressive because you know it's it's flash memory. It's not like right. magnetic or anything. So, huh. did we ever get a chance to talk about the new HDMI spec? Two point one. Two point one. Yeah, I, it can do eight K sixty or four K hundred twenty. I feel like we talked about it last time. Yeah, yeah. And they're all backwards compatible cables yep. and stuff. Blah blah yeah. blah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I don't know why that stuck out of my head because, you know, that obviously has something to do with all the new 8K devices that are at CES. So I just mm -hmm. want to bring that up quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then one last thing about um, from CES was uh, AMD. They they kind of briefly went over uh, Ryzen 2, um, which is going to see um, its release in April. And that's that's kind of like their their refresh of the, uh, the desktop um, Ryzen uh, that they released last year. So that's going to be exciting. Um, it's still going to use the the same AM4 socket. So, um, you know, it's I'm not sure if you can just drop it into existing motherboards. If you have to get new motherboards, probably that second one. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the the really big stuff. Um, and besides all of our marathon stuff, the last item I had is uh, the Vulpine Kickstarter launched, uh, which is uh, an indie game. It's actually um, developed by a couple people here in Madison. Um, and uh, within the first two days, they hit half of their 22,000 uh, goal, which is nice. really awesome. So I'm, I'm not sure if we've covered it before, but as a refresher, it's it's um, the the premise is a um, kind of an, an open world uh, adventure game. Um, a, well, it's action adventure that uh, you are an animal and you wield weapons and yeah. Yeah, the, their 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 tagline is basically "Be a fox with the sword," so <laughs> that is literally what they put on there. I mean, I guess if it's accurate, go with it. Yeah. So. So yeah, I I really liked the demo and and figured I would I would share that because it's all like, well, it's really local indie dev, so you know. But yeah, that's uh pretty much um, that's pretty much all I got. Before marathon stuff. Cool. So, we did a marathon at the end of 2017 on the 29th of December. Sure did, into the 30th. That was a 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. jaunt with minimal breaks. We did have a pizza break in there a couple times, but for the most part, we had games going the whole time, and the stream only went down once. I don't think it went down at all. Oh, yeah, it did. You did touched it? something in the machine rebooted, remember? Right. That was right <laughs> after the first game. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it was real early. We got to, like, start going to the next game and stopping recording and the machine, he like touched it and it like hard it rebooted. Powered <laughs> off. It had wow. somewhere to be. <laughs> <laughs> so well, we were like, oh, well, at least it shows then. Reset strats. <laughs> yeah, pretty That's much. Right. <laughs> and we were only down for like two minutes and then we got yeah. it up and then it was super solid again. So Yeah, and then we just continued throughout the rest of the marathon, which is fine. So yeah, it hasn't done anything quite that strange since. So hmm. well, granted, I just yeah. wiped it last night. That's but. good. Like, I've, I've done that to machines before, where I would just like I would go to touch it and like I would shock myself on it, and then the system would reboot. Yeah, yeah, I've done that before too, but there was no shock that time. It was just yeah. like I think I touched like the the case. Not, I didn't touch the case around. I touched the I think the server rack on oh. top of it or something. And it's just oh, like okay. nothing happened. Then, 
<laughs> Whoops. All right. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So we got ourselves some Mario Kart 8, Jamestown, Puyo Puyo, Tetris times two, Spelunky, Keep Talking, Nobody Explodes, Towerfall, Cobalt, Mario Party 8, Salty Android, Cactus. Oh, that's right. I'm looking at the old version of the schedule, which we had to, to, do, to do some subs with. Uh, Cobalt's we end, fun. We ended with Goat Simulator. I think there was one more we subbed <laughs> in. I don't remember what it was, though. Uh, Instead of New Super Mario Brothers, what did we do? Oh, heck. Uh, shite. It's on the... Hmm. I thought it was on the... the it's, it's not on the schedule. The Tiltify schedule? <laughs> it's not on that one? Uh, no, no, we didn't. Oh, we heck. Didn't what did we, we had to sub do it, in? Like, super live. Uh, like, big, good old It was another PC game. I swear it was. You're yeah, right. Whatever. It was. It was... Um, <laughs> I can see it. I can't Cobalt? name it though. No, we no, already no, talked Cobalt about was one. already on the schedule. Towerfall. That was Towerfall is already on the schedule shit. too. I'm trying to think of the other ones. Uh oh, Nuclear Throne. Me and EI played Nuclear yeah, Throne. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you did. God damn, that was good. <laughs> yeah, that, that was good. <laughs> I'm surprised we looped. That was crazy. For a marathon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no shit, right? <clears throat> but that was a good time. Uh we will be getting the recordings out for that shortly. Yep. Shortly in the next couple of days, I hope. Um, but we'll see how, what goes on with that. We raised 750 bucks in support of One Gamer Fund. Sure right did. On. So thank you, everybody who contributed to that. Uh, we'll see about doing another one between now and the major October marathon. But no guarantees. But we're looking into it still. So. <laughs> we'll see where uh, I'm literally at. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, we might just have to be like, okay, Marathon Harbor bins. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And we broadcast from here. Yeah, oh, man. look at that sweet, sweet fiber connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking so far to getting rid of my oh. freaking cable connection. Oh, man. That, yeah, that fat pipe's going to be awesome. Yeah, you, you, you won't look back, man. Pretty much. <laughs> especially back. when it's half the freaking price. That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, we had a good marathon. Uh, yeah, we raised 50% uh, more than our initial goal. And we had quite a few people drop in. And that was our first uh, showing on the Zero Hour Productions channel. That's so, correct. The channel on which you are currently watching. In I hope. Indeed. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have to keep that going. Hopefully, we'll get something else in the meantime. But we have big plans for October. Big plans. Big plans. So the we'll see how that goes. Plans. Indeed. Also, the channel is auto-hosting all of us. So whenever we go live at whatever, whatever, whatever. Both I'll you. eventually you, start streaming. You, me, and Eon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I put Boris on there, too. Probably. Mm -hmm. Probably. Just because. I'll be streaming tomorrow, I swear. There we go. Yeah. Yes, you will be. Come high or high water. Right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hey, I ended up testing the PVM that was sitting behind the couch. Oh, well, actually, you weren't there for that. But I ended up getting a 20-inch PVM from Sony in Madison, of all places. So yeah. I ended up turning that on for the first time today. And it has some geometry issues, but it could be much worse. Uh popped open uh, TDX for the first time in like three months and I'm seven seconds away from PB and nice. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I went right back into it. Um, I forgot how much those Japan spell shop, uh, uh, spell shop pads, the rubbers on the inside of the controllers are stiff. And so I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> you but, gotta press it like you mean it. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. But really sure about what you're doing. Yeah. Then I went to go type on my phone. I was like, everything's so soft. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. But yeah, I, I got down to a minute 39 in like three, four games, four games. Yeah. That I completed this morning and I was just kind of like, okay, we're good. This works. Uh, 40 line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's really the only speed run you can do because there's no other constraints. So I mean, otherwise, if you want to like do a, a max score kind of thing, but. I can't max the score counter in that well, game. There, there was, oh, I forget what his name was. Now there was a one dude who was going for a, a record in some category and ended up getting a record in a different category on the way. <laughs> oh, it was like the, the quickest time to a hundred thousand points in, I, I want to say it was original nest Tetris, but I don't remember now oh, exactly okay. what it was, but yeah. hundred K is, I think a thing. <clears throat> yeah. I know yeah. there's hundred line. Yeah. Which it wasn't is, hundred line. It was, they score. had the one day tournament for that in December. So I think he was going for a line count speed run. And he ended up getting a score speed run <laughs> instead. Yeah, why not? So, hey, whatever. Yeah, it works. I mean, my best time so far in TDX have been level nine, height four, which is half the height of the well. Mm. So does they give you seven, six increments? Well, it's divided into eight parts. We can only go up to level five or six, I think it is. But yeah, I mean, when I have half the height in the well, it's pretty much just a don't fuck up kind of thing. Or if you get the wrong pieces, you're kind of bone, so you got to start over anyway. Yeah, RNG. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I was like ready to do Tetris's on like my second or third run today. I was like, I have no eyepieces and I'm topped out. <laughs> nice, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, so I mean, you just kind of have to work with it. But looking forward to that. It's probably going to be one of the things that I stream tomorrow, if not more. So, woo. Other than that, the AGDQ. Other, yeah, the other marathon. Oh, yes. So, yeah, uh, first time we were in Herndon, us together. I, I mean, both first time for both of us, but ended up showing up on the Saturday before the event, and we ended up flying back this last Sunday. Dates are eluding me right now. Uh, the 6th through the 14th. Yeah, cool. So it was interestingly easier for us to fly out of Milwaukee and go into Reagan instead of flying into the Dulles airport, which is a lot closer because we had direct flights that were cheaper. Mm, yep. So we were like, hmm, sold on that. So we ended up doing that. Uh, shout outs to Crimson Avix for picking us up and dropping us back off at the airport. Yeah. Um, thank you and so Greenleaf, much. Obviously you were there the first time to pick us up. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, our flight was delayed on the way back. So we got to the airport and we're like, well, now what? And Southwest was nice enough to give both of us a $100 voucher that expires in a year, but that was cool of them. But yeah, we just kind of sat around the airport and did stuff. But throughout the week, though, we obviously saw a lot of people. Uh, shout outs to the Super Mario World crew who interestingly remembered who I was and actually <laughs> approached me and said hello. And I was like, I've done one run ever. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even submit it to the freaking leaderboards. Yeah. Well, why not, man? Come on. Because I was like second from last. So what? <laughs> I was you like 350th. Eat it last player. <laughs> yeah, yeah pretty much. That's... I bopped somebody in 11 exit. Yeah, you exactly. want to tape that up on the fridge. Come on, man. Gotta <laughs> that, start somewhere. That was my 11 exit run that was like 35 <laughs> minutes long. It was so bad. <laughs> but uh, I might oh, I might get back into that game at some point if Tina's listening. I expect the angry pointing. <laughs> the off good gameth cometh, I guess. Yeah. But uh, no, I ended up getting approached by Truman. I was just like, oh, hello. Hi, how's it going? And I got to say hi to Dots and Sten, who I didn't realize was famous until after we started talking. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Wait, it was, it was Sten like, you don't know who I am? That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a good time. Uh, as you can tell, I clearly <laughs> watch a bunch of Super Mario World runs, totally. Yeah. Um, but no, obviously, shout-outs to the Drinky Drinks crew, who I didn't get to see a whole lot of, but mm. still, awesome folks. Whiplash was had. Yeah, I only got like two rounds in total over the whole week. That's fine. Um, gosh, uh, Auth and Sky, always fun to see. CT Conqueror. Mm -hmm. Tej and Krim and Dork and all of those other folks. They're all really great. It was... We ended up getting our first pedicures together. Yeah. Sky wanted a bunch of people to go get pedicures, so we did. So why not? It was pretty amazing. It's a weird group activity <laughs> at, a, at a video game running yeah, thing, but you know, okay. There was a place that was near the hotel, and she's like, guess what we're doing? And I'm like, okay. Yeah, throughout the whole week, I was uh, dealing with selling my condo. The, the first day of GDQ that Sunday, the 7th, uh, was the first open house for my condo. And, uh, yeah, it sold <laughs> that yeah. day. We were so, like, oh, I don't like, I don't know if we're going to sell our place, uh, uh, you know, before we go home, like the first night. <laughs> yep. You got two offers. Okay. <laughs> so while I was at dinner, I was talking with my seller or my selling agent. And I was like, okay, send me paperwork tomorrow. I got to go buy. And she kept talking for another 20 minutes, which you know, is, it, yeah. is a thing. But yeah. Mm -hmm. so, Yeah. We, we were dealing with selling the condo and filling out paperwork in order to get our house built on time to close on the same day, which was awesome because we didn't think we were going to be able to do that. Now mm. we can. So we were doing that throughout the week, too, with a lot of DocuSign and a lot of signing things on my phone and pretending it was a signature, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. But outside of that, uh, it was really great. I chilled most of the week. Um, really just wanted to treat it as a social time. Mm -hmm. um, I ended up getting to see... Quite a few people, which is really great. I, I didn't hang around with the same folks like I did last time, um, but it was really enjoyable. I would love to go back. Unfortunately, SGDQ is out of the question for us mm -hmm. uh, because I was banking on it being July 1st through the 7th. Instead, it's going to be the week before that, and that's oh, okay. the week that we close on the condo yeah. and the new house. 
<laughs> so yeah. kind kind of can't do that. Yeah, I remember them announcing it. It was a week off of the fourth. I couldn't remember if it was before or after. I guess it before, was before. Huh? Sadly, yeah. mm. I was banking on it because it's like who's not going to schedule a convention over July fourth week? That's a free day at PTO. Yeah, no, nope. exactly. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. But damn, yeah, yeah. that kind of sucks. <laughs> it's fine. I got to do uh, a race. I raced something. I raced. Uh, it was a race. It was a Windows ninety five game. <laughs> called wheels oh, wheels <laughs> <laughs> with with a, a bang at the end there it is a game in the marathon engine that was for kids and apparently it was for um folks in wheelchairs and stuff because it was uh, easier to control oh okay and uh yeah you you huh. flung pies at enemies and they flung pies back at you and it was one hit <laughs> kill and a bunch of things but the wow. hard mode was basically if you touch any walls, you take damage. Oh. So that was a thing. Mm. And uh, yeah, they're like, okay, go, have fun. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I got last, but that's okay, because I literally have never played an FPS on a keyboard and a mouse before ever. So oh, that dear. was a thing that happened. Um, yeah, you were basically navigating your way through a school. So <laughs> the game is free. You're, you're uh, splatting pies on a bunch of evil robots and clowns <laughs> yep that was it that was pretty much it wheels that's, uh, that's you glorious. can do some mouse stuff wheels game. i swear you could do some mouse Not stuff happy wheels no that's different that's a very different uh, very no it's different. literally just wheels Five. just do wheels marathon you'll see it wheel of fortune no <laughs> marathon wheels Flat tires, flat free tires. I linked it in my show notes here. I'll just give uh, it to you. I'll paste it in. It here. I can paste it in chat. It's fine. Uh, wheels. wheels. <laughs> yeah, that oh game. Goodness. That's that a looks... thing. Oh, good God. Why? Oh, that's right. It just has very bad <laughs> oh. protection, also known as you launch the executable directly instead of the start wheels executable. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's whatever. Oh. Never mind. I guess it's not free. Sorry. I'm not encouraging piracy at all. Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, no, it has a leaderboard on SRC now <laughs> oh my God. and a really, really, really <laughs> terrible scrolling background on its leaderboard. So that's a thing. Ugh. Yeah. I don't even so, want to look at that. Yeah, <laughs> it's so a, bad. It oh, was, that, is, that is glorious. Also, Ugh. the pages were last updated in November of 1998. Nice. Yeah, that is actually, Kenny, yeah, they wanted you to pay $60 and they'll actually just mail you a burned CDR with a label on it. Oh, perfect. Yep. Sure, yep. that doesn't exist out there already. Yeah. Because the download's actually on that page, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Whatever. I was told yeah. that if I wanted yeah. it, uh, I could get it. And, uh, hmm. I now know that Aperture Grills <laughs> runs Marathon. So, hmm. If I ever want to play it again, it runs best in Windows 10. Not on Windows 7. Windows 7 had color issues. Windows 10 ran it just fine. Huh. You didn't even need to turn compat mode on. It was weird. So maybe they did a shim for that game. I'm going to download it. <laughs> it's 2.16 megabytes. It is done. And done. <laughs> <laughs> this might take like 40 minutes on whatever your 3600 baud modem is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Aperture Grills oh my goodness. is a character. Also freakishly good at TGM. Yeah. I met some really interesting people this week and ran a game. That was a thing. Speedrunners are an interesting sort. Yeah, we 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 are. I guess I can say that we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have you did SRC a run. Yeah. things. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, like I've actually got like a friggin' SRC profile now because of TDX and Assault Android Cactus. You have a number two. That's true. <laughs> a number two of two that's right well hey man you don't need to qualify just call it a number two you were on the podium <laughs> hi eon how's Hello, it going eon. yeah i podium oh, that's yeah. right see that's important <laughs> glass half full yeah i'm trying to think of anything else that stood out from that week boston's was a good place for pizza oh, i'm pretty yeah. sure that was the name of the bar we went for that that they, was the night that we sold our condo. They yeah. broke their record. Yeah, that's true. Barely. That's important. And I think it's funny because like everyone was <clears> complaining <throat> about uh, sub only mode on the chat, and it was the revenue from that that pushed ah, it over. Yeah. <laughs> Good work, idiots! You played yourselves. Uh, yup. 
Yeah. God, that amused me so much. It was amazing. <laughs> we made it because oh. of salt. Oh, my God. Kenny, uh, Eon and I are apparently going to anyone can strider together at some point. So, yeah, that's that's a thing. All <laughs> oh, right, the live, can, the live strider tutorial. Which, like, oh, exploded yeah. that leaderboard. I wish I could have seen that. God damn it. Yeah, apparently somebody found a new zip today. And it just broke the game. So <laughs> I guess that's going to happen. So, yeah. yeah, whatever. Hey, nice. You got a 408 in your first and only successful recorded attempt. The new zip is crazy hard. Yeah, supposedly it's like semi tass or something like that. Oh. But Cool Kid, I believe, still has the world record on that game. I could be wrong. But, yeah, that whole week. That was a thing, mm -hmm. and it was really nice having people there who had vehicles, because otherwise it would have been kind of a pain in the butt to get out and do stuff. But yeah, shout-outs to Dork and Krim and everybody else who drove, mm -hmm. and we got to meet Bernie. Bernie was cool. Uh, Bernie was Sky's patron, essentially. Uh. Um, and we got to meet Z-Man for the first time. He's a professor, also an asshole. I love him. <laughs> he and Teej were just going okay. off on each other <laughs> oh, so good yeah TGZ a real thing in real life yeah that happened so yeah oh also yeah food without vehicles and with dietary restrictions was not good unfortunately yeah. I didn't learn about that um, sandwich place that had vegetarian options in the hotel until like the last day womp womp. Yeah. courtesy of Aperture Grills by the way yeah so Next time, we're going to be at a totally different hotel anyway. They already announced that. This is the last okay. year at that hotel. Aww. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see where they go. But um, yeah, it's going to be new hotels for the next two events, actually. SGDQ and AGDQ. But so it goes. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I had a lot of fun, too. Um, they had an arcade there um, with uh, with a few Bamani games. They had Sound Voltex um pop and music um a uh, a tricked out in the groove which was really cool um they had uh bishibashi which is um I, have you either of you heard of that no. it, the theme sounds vaguely familiar yeah so it, it sounds a, very japanese it well, is clearly. uh so <laughs> think of like a stereotypical crazy japanese game show Dumb. um it's a th yeah it's uh it's a three-player arcade cabinet and oh, no. um there's a whole bunch of like different mini games that involves like you know the four buttons before you, okay. um, and uh, some of them involve like you know um, alternating between two buttons like as fast as possible and like you know trying to to meet a particular time in order to advance. Mashing two buttons, whoa! Yeah, sometimes three. Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, some of it's like pattern matching where like it'll show you like if it'll flash like a really um, you know like a, a pattern of things that you're supposed to hit. Uh, with colors, so you like have to hit them in sequence, that kind of thing. Uh -huh. um, so it's uh, yeah, um, they had one of those. Um, some uh, some other like classic arcade games, like Bubble Bobble, inside a Captain America cabinet, <laughs> <laughs> which that was kind of confusing at first. Yeah. Um, huh. Let's see, but yeah, it and they had U beat there. They had three cabinets of that, which is really cool. Damn it off. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I had a lot of fun there. Um, I got to uh, um, meet uh, Rayathe, um, who did uh, the ukulele run uh, very briefly. It was an awesome run, I think. Um, didn't uh, didn't get to hang out in the stream room oh, to catch it. Shit. But... Runs. There were so many good runs. Oh, yes. Like the four-way race of Yabi's I I mean Yoshi's Island. <laughs> <laughs> you did that on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> that was an outstanding race, though. Oh, yeah. They all got the, the five four skip. Spoil it! I oh. have not seen. Oh, that what the one. heck? Okay, yeah, it's, it's well worth watching that oh, one. Oh, well, yes. I know. I'm gonna watch pretty much the entirety of it, but it's good. Me. That one especially was good. Carcinogen's RE seven run was like the most entertaining <laughs> thing I've seen <laughs> yeah. all week. Uh, uh, I did not get a chance to watch Auth's Titanic run. Yeah, with Rosentia commenting that. or commentating for it. Oh, oh my dear. god. Oh dear! And Viral Bear two thousand was oh, that, oh, I was awesome. I just I couldn't keep myself together <laughs> oh, throughout that whole no. thing. The what? awful block just had me like howling with laughter <laughs> oh, the whole no. time. <laughs> it, it it kept me in pain, and I didn't even care because it was it was delightful. Yeah, awful uh. block. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, and, uh, <laughs> the Silent Hill run was really cool too. Um, 
I, and I, I kind of feel bad because I don't remember like the, the handle of the runner who did it, but, um, I, it was extremely entertaining. Um, and, uh, so I wanted to give a special shout out to that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, besides the things that, uh, Tormat had mentioned, um, someone brought in a Commodore 64, uh, loaded yeah, up. Yeah, kind of lost him for a day or two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Naturally. but, but the, um, uh, but but then we were inflicted with uh with a hack of uh the Snoopy game for it called Smurf to the Revenge, which was it's a ridiculously awful and frustrating platformer. Uh yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Um but uh yeah, I I did also get to play a couple other uh, Commodore games since you know I like I was like, I had someone left me alone with the with the fifteen forty one ultimate cartridge. So I was like loading up games. And stuff. <laughs> they had uh, um, so that was fun. I got to uh, test out Oops. um, uh, Tetra's uh Super Mario Brothers two randomizer for a bit, um, before uh before the race happened, which was really cool. Um, Super Mario Brothers two randomizer. Yes. Uh huh. The fuck? Some seeds yeah. are beatable. <laughs> So oh. it's uh so the uh the character attributes are randomized. Oh. So that's a fun one. Um the uh the order of the levels is randomized and uh-huh. also the um the terrain is randomized. So sometimes walls will uh will turn into like those blocks where you can like jump up through or walk on top of or uh-huh. through but uh-huh. like yeah, so that that um sometimes gives you opportunities to like take shortcuts and stuff just cuz you can walk through the wall at that point. Um and uh other times it makes the terrain a lot more difficult. So huh. I need to make a quick correction. It wasn't Silent Hill 7. That doesn't exist. What? Resident Evil 7 is the one that Carsey ran. Yeah, yeah. My we bad. Were talking about Resident Evil 7. I thought you said RE7. Maybe I did. You, you yeah. did. Somebody else you said you said you, the correct you, one. You typed Silent Hill 7 in chat. But we were talking about Resident Evil 7. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I good. got confused myself. We're good. I'm good at confusing myself. <laughs> yeah. It's whatever. So, I, Carsey ended up facing the camera at one point and tried to do a jump scare, and it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that that <I> works <laughs> too. Also, <laughs> I'm guessing it failed. If well, you I mean, like I I laughed. <sighs> Don't do that. I've got two knees. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got a spare. He's also freakishly tall, like taller than Author Blue's tall. Like I have to guess he's about seven foot. Jesus. <laughs> That's very tall. <laughs> I was just kind of like, hello. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was that was unexpected. I got to meet some people at AGDQ who weren't at SGDQ, and I was just kind of like, okay. Wow. <laughs> Plus, there was a Kenny at yeah. AGDQ. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we did get to hang out. Um, I got to play some music with him at one point briefly. We tried to find something that wasn't out of tune, ended up settling on a digital piano, and I was like, ugh, fine. <laughs> But apparently it's a model similar to the one he owns. So anyway, yeah, got to hang out with all sorts of people. That was pretty much the reason I went. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was very much a social event. I didn't spend a whole lot of time in the stream room myself. Um, I spent a lot more of it just kind of hanging out and then once totally socialed out, retreat to the room and watch the stream <laughs> from there. And play a while, don't forget that. I did, yeah. Somehow we both went a week without using 10 gigs of data. On, yeah. Well, the, per phone. The hotel yeah. Wi-Fi was... Absolutely atrocious. It was trash. Even so, before everybody showed up. Yeah, so I, I was pretty much tethering the entire time, and I was also frustrated trying to figure out, like, okay, so I'm tethering, but my laptop sees a Wi-Fi connection. How do I prevent all of my software from trying to update over my phone? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Windows. I never no. figured out the solution. Windows 10 has that metered whatever. Connection. Yeah, you can't turn it, turn it on. You can't turn it on for Wi-Fi connections. What? Yeah. Swamp, it might be USB only, which you can do USB <clears throat> tethering, by the I've way. I've never gotten that to work. Not once. I did. But Lucky. that was with an iPhone on Mac. Yeah. I didn't try an Android device Meh. yet. Anyway, rambly. I think yeah. we're done with current news. Toonskis? Yeah. Yeah, Toonskis. All right. Shall I start? Yes, please. Fight or Flight by Nostalvania and the OC Jazz Collective from Chrono Trigger. The remix from Street Fighter 2 entitled Spitfire's Boom by Gani. And I've got God from the Machine from Deus Ex by More Effect.
connection or some validation Got you tripping and hallucinating phantom vibrations I tried out, but you continue to read Can't miss out, cause you hunger the feed The world keeps spinning behind the screen Lie awake in bed as you serve the machine Just let me Considering the marathon that we put on, the marathon you two were at, I'm guessing we played some games. I watched a whole lot more than I played, to be completely honest. Oh, well, I guess that's true. <laughs> I, I guess I did that's play true some all new stuff. around. Also, that little note that played from the next song. What? No, it didn't happen. Shut no, up. No, no, it totally <laughs> didn't sound like an SNES orchestra hit. No, of course not. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, yeah, played a lot. Let's see here. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, even though I'm mad that I didn't get to play more. I only got to play like three races. Damn it. Uh, yeah, we tried to get that going in, in the Drinky Drinks room, and for whatever reason, we just couldn't get like the ad hoc network thing to work very well. I suppose we played it during the marathon too, though. We tried to do more than the four player per console or four player total, I guess. No, I was just trying to play anything. I wasn't in the room with you at that point. Yeah. And like... I got a couple races in. I was trying to do 200 CC, and I said, "And I'm done." <laughs> yeah, I, I probably got to practice that. But outside of that, also did Salt Android Cactus with Happy Holly Days. Uh, that run, the four Holly uh, three, run that we three did. Holly. Why? Well, okay, it was yeah, fine. Yeah, three. We had to do three Holly. Um, let's but see here. That was our donation sense. So thank you very much, yeah. everybody. For true, true, there. true. Uh, keep talking. Nobody explodes. I attempted to help. One of those things just did not make sense to me, and I kept giving them wrong answers. It was the the two white dots, and you had to like guide the arrow. Oh, through. The, the maze one, yeah. Like I don't understand why I didn't understand that one, but it was whatever. Uh, Cobalt, I'm surprised at how much I enjoyed that game. That game is very enjoyable. Like I, I the last time I played it was a long time ago when I was with you on stream. Right. We yeah, totally need to was, do that some more. That was when it was a different game almost. It's a, Really? It's a very peculiar control scheme for that game. Yeah. Just in terms of aiming and rolling and doing whatever else. It yeah. just seems yeah. to eschew a lot of conventions for that sort of game. Yeah. But it's still, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's, it's great. Yeah. Um, I was surprised at how much I enjoyed it. I, I think I'd like to play that again sometime. Mm -hmm. uh, Quiplash 2, you know, that's a thing. I suppose technically we did also play TKO over New Year's and Drawful. Yeah. But I, yeah, I hardly call those 
So we did mostly Quiplash 2. Um, and Wheels with a bang. <laughs> wheels! <laughs> bang. Not a fortune, though. Oh. Wheels of pie. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so weird. Yes. Yes, it was quite weird. Quite, quite weird. Indeed. Quite weird. Indeed. But I'm sure there were other games. I, I was supposed to play Uno with Sky, and we just never found the time to mm-hmm. do that. Which is upsetting, because it's really fun shitting on people playing Uno. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, gosh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, can't, really. What else? You played Towerfall. Did I? Yeah. Oh, I mm-hmm. suppose I did. I forgot about that one. Huh. We have. We played Jamestown. Why did I forget that stuff? I don't know, man. Like, what the hell? No, uh, it's whatever. I also played Spelunky. Spelunky, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, heck. All right. Well, most of the marathon schedule for things that were more than one player, I played. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, that's kind <laughs> of how we, we tried to engineer it, right? Yeah. So, for what it's worth, uh, we'll be doing more multiplayer games on stream for or for charity or not for charity coming up. But, yeah, I, I'm using the marathons as an opportunity to force myself to play games that I wouldn't normally play. But, yeah. I enjoyed it. It was a good time. Um, I'm sure there are other games that I'm forgetting. I guess technically I also played Tetris DX today. I guess technically I also played Link to the Past today. Like five minutes worth. <laughs> like an actual legit Link to the Past or a rando? Uh, no, I was just putzing around looking at the monitor, making sure that, ah, it, was, that right. it was okay. So I loaded up the practice round. But itchy, itchy. I, I was playing Link to the Past Interestingly, I found that you can bonk certain things in the Dark World graveyard and it will pop items out at you. <laughs> yeah, like the mm. pile of rocks. But it was more than just that. I hit something else. I hit one of the stationary rocks on the ground and it popped out a bomb pack for me that I, that I was not expecting. It wasn't just the bonk rock piles. Huh. Yeah. It was in the top left corner. It was like the second one from the left. It was one of the dark small stones. Huh. And it popped out a bomb pack and I was like, okay. <laughs> That was weird. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Surprise. So, shrug. It was an eight pack of bombs, though. If you need bombs. Yeah. I guess. Cool. So, yeah, that was in the practice realm. But I don't know. I played TDX. As I mentioned, I was seven seconds off of PB after playing like four or five rounds today. And I was pretty cool with that. Granted, I was sitting right in front of the TV because I didn't want to get up on the couch. And I was just kind of like <laughs> staring at the screen. But something peculiar I noticed with the Super Game Boy 2 or. Maybe it was just Tetris DX. The top line of, uh, I guess, whatever is displayed on the screen kept flickering, but only on that game. Hmm. I didn't try other Game Boy games, but when I put in the the practice round for Link to the Past, it was fine. So I don't know what uh. that was about, but whatever. It was fine. Good enough to play on. The speakers work. That was nice. So, oh, because some of them don't actually have speakers built in. Like the 2530s didn't have speakers. The 20 did. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All so, right. I get you. Yeah. I was able to hear something without having to like pipe everything through the mixer and back out to my headset. Mm-hmm. That was cool. How about you? Um, I, uh, I've, of course, been playing World of Warcraft. Um, they just recently released, uh, I, I, I should have put this in my notes, but they just recently released a, uh, a patch that makes it so that, um, all of the uh, the older content scales with your level. So instead of like this area being like, you know, level 20 monsters or whatever, it's whatever level you are. So you can kind of mm. like experience the game and go through the world and play through it as like at your own pace. So you don't have to feel like tethered to a particular area or blocked off from further areas. So it's really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, that is, uh, <laughs> that's caused a very uh, polar response. Um, from uh, uh, from people who have you know played the game for a while, so we're gonna see if that sticks around or not. Um, but yeah, so they they've they scaled all of that stuff so that you know like you don't feel like you have to you know like oh man I've out leveled that area but it's a really cool area and I want to quest in it but it's not worth it. Well now it is. Um, let's see other games. Um, I played well. I did game night, uh, so Pathfinder tabletop. I'm still enjoying that a whole lot. Um, I uh, <laughs> last night's session, my character instantly died, so that was fun. Um, 
like died died or negative hp still able to uh like legit died? um <laughs> uh, it was all like oh saxon uh roll for it and i'm like okay oh <laughs> one crap wamp, wamp. oh by the way you're dead i'm like ah oh, uh, no fuck. what happened <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was like power word or death or something like that or or some kind of like magic instant death spell and i'm Oof. like well that's just fantastic now isn't it great you guys better carry my corpse around, okay? <laughs> uh, and yeah, they sacrifice did. it to Kali. That's right, man. <laughs> Still valuable. Yeah. So, well, it was it was less effort uh, to resurrect me than it was to sacrifice me. So, they uh, they decided to keep my character around, and I'm grateful for that. How nice. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I got uh, to play some Realm of Impossibility. Um, it's kind of like a uh, um. You, you plunder dungeons uh, in that Commodore 64 game. Um, basically, the goal of that is uh, you start at the top and you go into a dungeon and you avoid all the monsters. Um, you have different spells that you can use to defend yourself against them. Um, get down to the bottom, get the treasure, get out, and then move to the next dungeon. And there's 13 different dungeons. And they get progressively longer and more difficult and stuff like that. But for the most part, you can do them dungeons in pretty much any order as long as they're unlocked or you have the key for them, which is kind of cool. Um, so, so yeah, there was that, um, I played the human race for the Commodore 64 and beat it, uh, apparently, like, it's, the, the controls are incredibly frustrating, um, which is, you know, I guess, like, that game is known for, and also music by Rob Hubbard, but, you know, um, but yeah, uh, so like they, uh, the whoever w- had set up the Commodore, like they're all, they're they got like mega frustrated, you know, like they had played through the level for like two hours, and they're like I just can't do this, so they step away, and I grab it, and I'm like I beat it in like five minutes, <laughs> 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 and then you know like for uh, um, you know there's there's a level in there where you have to like push the joystick forward and backward at a very particular pace. Uh, in order to roll a log across a river, because otherwise the river pushes you back. But like you have to avoid all of these things, like going down the river, um, because otherwise you'll like get eaten and then, you know, lose a life and start over. And it's so frustrating because it takes like three minutes to get across the river. But if you stop, it like pushes you back in like you know fifteen seconds. So it's like, oh no, <laughs> it's yeah, it's definitely a, a game that's meant to frustrate you. Um. I'd mentioned Smurfs to the Revenge. Uh, <laughs> just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> just that combination of words is amusing. Yeah, um, mm, I don't know really how to describe it other than it is a game hack that somehow made the game far more frustrating and worse than the original. And it was based off a Snoopy game. Yeah, right? I'm pretty sure it was. Ba- oh, it was yeah, it was, I was, it was about to make that comment. It's basically, <laughs> a Snoopy hack. So, <laughs> oh great. Yeah. Maybe uh, Percentual will play it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, did some uh, Super Mario Brothers 2, as I'd mentioned before, with uh, um, with Tetra's Randomizer. Um, that was a lot of fun. Um, DDR, of course, because, well, we own it. Um, and uh, some poppin' music. Um, and uh, I found out that um, a uh, like a game remix from um, uh, Boku Te Upa, uh, was on that machine. Like, I guess, like... Yeah, <laughs> so it's they, the... They have yeah. the, 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 the baby game. The baby game, yeah. It's that song. Yeah, that. So, oh, so I got to play it, and I'm like, oh, this is, you know, like the easiest uh, chart on it is, is well <laughs> within my, uh, like, you know, preferred uh, skill level range. So I'm like, cool, this is a lot of fun. Um, so I uh, I kind of owe Eon a video of it. Um, so, uh, <laughs> you know... <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, that's that's pretty much it for gaming. All right. Well, I started and finished Flint Hook. Uh, it's a procedural action platformer type game. It's ghost a, pirates. Ghost pirates, man. It's <laughs> ghost space pirates. Oh, there we go. Ghost space pirates. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a little bit frustrating because the hitboxes can seem kind of weird at times. Um, but it's you know it's right up my alley. It's 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 a great game. I'd certainly recommend it to anybody who's into. Kind of the Metroidvania e style roguelikes where you can you can buy permanent upgrades and shit and you can get upgrades during your run, but then those reset and then it's just it's it's one of those that's like perfect for me. It's like I get so 
pissed off at it but it's just so fun it's just like all yeah. right fine i'll do one more okay yeah let's let's give it another go here is it roguelike in that you know anytime <clears throat> that you get completely like screwed you realize that it was because of lack of foresight on your part yeah yeah it's <laughs> it's mostly certainly your own fault when yeah. something goes wrong and it's just like God it's very roguelike <laughs> fine all right we're gonna fix this right now yep oh it's, it's a lot of fun i also started playing and i'm still in the middle of playing sub level zero redux uh, this was a game I played on stream, I want to say a year and a half ago or something. They made a they made the Redux expansion to it. Uh, it was originally released on consoles, I want to say probably earlier last year. Came to PC in September or October of last year. And it's always been on my list to play again because it's so rad. It's such a great modern-ish descent, but roguelike, which is perfect. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's just like, oh, it's such a good game. I want to play it again. All right, let's play it again. So I played it again, and... The, the both times I played this past week, uh, the lead artist has been in my stream for us. So oh, like, right oh, on. guys, please! It's so cool. That's <laughs> that's why I love indie games so much. It's like you get that like random encounters with these dudes, and it's just oh. yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, I made that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like I didn't I didn't recognize that that was him for like oh. half the stream, but I got through like the first run or whatever in the credits. Like, hmm, which name? Name in credits. Oh, there you oh, go. <laughs> okay. Yes. That is him. It's like, oh hi, you've been <laughs> yeah, here. The exactly. Whole time. Hello. I'm just gonna go hyperventilate for a few minutes, but yeah. okay, all right, thanks. <laughs> no, he's he's a real cool guy. Cool guy. Kind of how I, I felt about Sten when I realized oh Yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> yeah. No, he was in chat, he was talking about some things of the game that were like higher level than what you would expect your normal, even like serious dedicated player to know about shit. Yeah. So I was, was kind of uh, connecting the dots during. I'm like, <laughs> okay, well, we'll yeah. just see if how this goes. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's that guy. All right, all right. And they're, they're, they're always super chill about it. Yeah. I love it so much. Nice. It's why I play indie games. It's just the greatest, the greatest experience to have that sort of thing. Um, beyond that, of course, typical Legend of Zelda Link to the Past randos, set a new PB on open mode. Uh, oh, last did you? week, right yeah, now, by about five, six minutes or so. Cool. What's it down uh, to? It's two oh nine, I think, right now. Not nice. quite sub two. Fuck you for sword and buck twenty five in. Eat a dick. All right, come on, man. Like, give me something to work with. So I'm <laughs> guessing this was bullshit. part of your birthday stream. It was. It was my. Nice. It was actually my birthday stream one that had the, that had the PB. It was nice. like happy birthday. You no. got a gift. <laughs> actually, that that one wasn't the buck twenty five first sword. This one I think I had first sword at like thirty five minutes or something like that, which is still kind of dumb and yeah. stupid. <laughs> like I'm not playing swordless here. Give me something. <laughs> But no, of course not. Fair. Garbage. Bullshit. Um, and besides that, then of course, uh, Salt Andrew Cactus Speedrun Practice set a new PB with Peanut 49, 47, another sub 50. Oh, yes. Feels good, man. <laughs> that's the all gray character? Uh, no, that's the orange character. Oh. Hmm. Shoots the lava, or the magma. I'm sorry. It shoots the mag- magma. magma. It's got the big drill. <laughs> secondary. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, liquid hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get all of them to sub 50 except for one. Except for shiitake with the railgun, which I'm pretty sure is a human impossibility. But I could be wrong. Um, I really want to do another all androids run at some point, but I'm kind of waiting until I get all the shirts. <laughs> so I can swap them in and out as I go through the runs. <laughs> Hear that, Tim? Make more shirts, man. Yeah. Get a guaranteed customer right here. Make more shirts for me, too, because I want they're the I, greatest. I want the whole cast. Exactly. The shirts right. are awesome. Some of them are even purple. Yeah. That's right. That's the best ones. Aubergine. Best ones are purple. Which other ones? That's it. Aubergine? <laughs> Aubergine okay. is, the purple. It's like, hmm. is the purple one. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I'm probably going to finish up. Well, I don't know if I'll finish up several Zero Redix this uh, week. Might make it a three-weeker. Or a four. I don't know. It's a fun game. It's a good game. I like it. And I don't know what I'm going to do afterwards. I should be a, a better, more professional streamer by uh, mm. mapping out my schedule a little bit better than one game after. But, well, that's eh. how it goes sometimes. It's whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Just throw up Twitter polls, and that way it seems like you're engaging. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then nobody votes. <laughs> so it's like, oh, well, whatever. Eh. I'm just going to do this anyways. Fuck it. Yeah. That's it. How about some more Toonskis? Okay. 
Why did my browser tab die? I don't know. Try it again. All right. Multi-track drifting. Holly Lemon from The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. And a remix from Echo Tides of Time entitled Geofractura by the Plasmas. And I've got a remix from Secret of Mana called Masters of Mischief by Jorito and Smooth for Life.
know that we're the Scorpion Army. Breaking all the rules, trying to get to the top, but you know we ain't no dummies. Some people wanna think we the comic relief. I mean, we don't try to be funny. Thinking it's a joke, but we'll get the last laugh. But let us first make a plan, so get ready. You did it. Sorry, right. fix it in post. I'm yeah, know. that was me. Sorry. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no I, I hit the little. Yeah, fuck it. All right, yep. I fucked it up. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going. It's fine. All right, we got some good designs. I will start this week. Okay. Month, month. We do this monthly. Yeah. Uh, I, I decided to go a little bit simpler this time around with a simple little puzzle game. You start on a rectangular field at one edge. Just doesn't matter which. You control this expandable bar across the field, and you're supposed to get that the end of that bar to any other edge on the field. You need to avoid certain barriers and and uh, achieve certain other goals while on the way uh, to the goal point on this field. And the way you do that is by doing cuts on the bar. And the when you make a cut on the bar, it kind of flips it along the axis of the cut and reattaches it. So if you make a 45 degree cut, it'll turn it perpendicular depending on how you cut it. That portions are mirrored, blah, 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 blah. Various obstacles you run to are blockers. Bar cannot pass through or overlap these. So you got to kind of cut the bar around it. 
<laughs> uh, splitter, so bar passes through, gets duplicated, which might mean you need, you need to meet uh, multiple goals, or mm. you need to condense that bar back down to a single goal point. Or teleporters, bar enters one, leaves through another, and maybe on the other side of the field. A uh, very simple scoring concept, either number of cuts made and the number of undoes you use, uh, the length of the bar in total, so the shortest bar, the shorter the bar that you use, the more points you get, and of course how long you take to do it. Hmm. Very, very simple puzzle concept. And that's about all I got. Hmm. Cool. It's like take concept. Do it as oh, quickly as possible. Move <laughs> that's on. That's right. Yeah. Speed yeah. run. Speed run strats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So my game is going to be kind of similar, except not. So. <laughs> Awesome. Well, <laughs> it's it's similar in the fact that it's a puzzle game and you should do it as quickly as possible right. and as few moves as possible, but mine is in a 3D space. So I gave it the title of Labyrinthine Burst. It is a puzzle platformer for one to four players. You control it with keyboard, mouse, or a controller. It's probably going to be easier with keyboard and mouse, but uh, cell shaded graphic style, real simple. Should be easy to get resources made out there. Really, all you got to do is make some 3D models that are real basic. Uh, audio style is ambient slash industrial or electronic, depending. I want it to kind of evolve depending on, you know, how chaotic that particular stage might be. But the story of this game is that you're trapped in a 100 floor labyrinth with just enough resources to survive another 24 hours. And your only hope for survival is to escape that hundredth floor. Like so many other tropes before, except this is not procedurally generated. Aww. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> not using that buzzword this time. Uh, in your arsenal, you have a mix of viewpoints. You can, at the very beginning of each floor, see a top-down view, have a free-range camera to go around and see everything in first person. You need to determine what items in that floor you need to maneuver around, switches you need to hit, platforms you need to activate, or you need to be standing in order to fire this weapon that you have. The point of this game is that you you only weapon is a radiation gun and it kills on contact absolutely one hit dead but it only has a limited amount of rounds per floor but each floor will refill the chamber but it's not always the same amount so it forces you to take as few actions as possible in order to actually accomplish the goal do you so, get to keep those rounds when you advance nope hmm. you just get credited for you know points essentially okay. what's the range on it just Infinite, infinite range yep okay so it can bounce off of things depending if there might be mirrors or things like that you can go through uh doors that you might trigger uh you might be able to trigger some portal like thing etc anything you might be able to refract it or reflect it etc so uh your inventory is that radiation gun a canteen of clean water which you got a ration which can eliminate some status effects perhaps like if you get dizzy for whatever reason you can drink a little water but you have to you know bear in mind how much you have uh jerky you know something to munch on. Uh, occasionally the player or players will find special floor specific items that they can use to either simplify the floor's puzzle or it might be something required. So you may need to go search that out first by avoiding everything else that might be firing at you or whatever the case might be for that or that specific floor. So these mechanics on each floor, uh, there's going to be moving platforms, there's going to be switches. Uh, you may have to do a special firing pattern uh, in order to hit multiple things at the same time. Obviously, you're trying to get as many enemies in, in at the same time, but in order to time things, um, this isn't. This sometimes isn't an instantaneous boom. It's going to do all of its things instantly at once. The There might be some sort of special field in that room where it moves more slowly. So at the same time as you're waiting for one beam to go finish its path, you might have to clear other doors that might open so the beam can get through, that kind of thing. Um Bonus points are creative solutions that use as few items and, sh uh, and shots as possible. Um, this is both a score and a time-based attack thing. So obviously you're going to want to try to optimize both in order to get to the top of the leaderboards. Mm -hmm. um, it will quantify things. So points will always be the indicator of who's, you know, number one on the leaderboard because time will count down into points. Similarly, however much radiation you've got left, how many items you still have in your inventory, um, I was considering at some point um, benefiting the player so that they might get some water or jerky back, depending, like, if they have a bunch of resources, they may be able to trade in for more actual sustaining resources on their side. Or if you do certain goals during the level, maybe get a little boost to your resources as well. Yeah, sure, depending. Like, you might want to take a little time loss, but at the same time, you might be able to get some of those resources back, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, the objective, really, in this game is to clear each floor with as few bursts of radiation as possible and escape the labyrinth. Pretty simple. So, puzzle platformer, literally. So good. 
Big. Cool. Um, mine is also going to be relatively simple. Um, so it is a stealth-based game uh, that you play top-down, and you are in a hovercraft. So it has uh, kind of physics that are related to, you know, essentially like hovercrafts. They can kind of, you know, glide and float around and stuff like that. And also not stop on a dime, I'm guessing. Yep. So <laughs> yeah, okay. you're going to have to be very careful with how you uh, how you apply your forward momentum. Damn, ice physics, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, it's basically ice level the game. Damn it. <laughs> so um, your controls are essentially like you can choose to um, steer left, steer right, um, move forward, and uh, I guess, you know, okay, we'll, we'll give you the ability to move in reverse too. So, um, and uh, you, your objective is essentially like you're going to start in one part of, uh, let's call it an arena, because it's kind of like, I, I guess it makes it sound more uh, gladiatorial than it really is. Um, but it's an arena. Okay, we'll call it that. Um, and uh, your objective is to get from one end um, to the goal. And the goal is, you know, typically going to be on, like, the very opposite end or at least, you know, like, some distance required away from where you start. Yeah, something. Yeah. There's going to be, um, there's, uh, um, a light mechanic. So, most of the arena is, like, kind of kept dark and, uh, you're trying to navigate through this arena in the dark. Um, and, uh... There will be we'll we'll call them agents, just kind of like they'll they'll be themselves a light source and just kind of like trying to find you and like scope you out and stuff like that. And uh, you'll be able to see um, how the light source is uh, like occluded by obstacles in the course, you know, by like columns or you know large structures, that kind of thing. So you'll sort of like see the light just you know um, kind of go around that, but not like wrap around. Is their vision also that light source, or is it more? cone like very directed type thing um i would say it's uh it would it would be kind of nice to have um opponents of both kinds so one is kind of like omnidirectional Mm -hmm. um kind of like maybe like a um like a drone or something that's able to see like 360 all the time you know as opposed to like more of a you know a humanoid type thing where um they'll be able to kind of see like in a very conic shape sure so and that'll that will have some fall off too. So like after a certain distance, like the cone doesn't matter because it's you know it's dark enough. And so you are um, attempting to not get caught. Um, essentially, being caught in the vision um, will uh, result in you know you taking damage because obviously they're going to have all of the you know offensive weapons and you're not. And um, as you progress through the levels, they'll get you know more more difficult. Uh, they'll get faster. Their weapons will become stronger. Um, occasionally, they'll um, they'll employ like teamwork so that they can have you know like some sort of sniper that doesn't really you know have like a light source, but they can kind of like share vision with somebody who does, and they can just like pick you off, you know that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, and uh, there's oh, there's also an additional noise mechanic which will uh, you know like when you move you are causing noise either by the sound of your craft or the sound of the water or whatever it is, whatever the material is beneath you um, as you travel. And that will cause enemies to kind of close in on your position. So um, if they can't hear you and it's been a while since they've heard you and you're just kind of like, you know, sitting kind of static there, they'll have no idea where to look and they'll be like, huh, well, okay, we'll just kind of look randomly or whatever. But like if you move around quite a bit, um, like you're just zipping along super fast, like they're going to hear things. And so they might like pick up a little bit of speed and like try to come to your position or like where they last heard you or something. Um, because it's hovercraft physics, um, when you cut your craft off, you'll continue with your momentum. And, uh, what that'll do is essentially like you can just kind of slide into place. But since, um, you know, like when you cut your engine, that's going to be the last place that they heard you. That will be the place that they try and find you. So, like, if you pick up, you know, a lot of speed and then just cut it instantly and just sort of slide into place, you can kind of, you know, mislead them and stuff like that. Do you have any way to cause a sound somewhere else, throwing something, a trigger, a, I don't know, trigger something in a different part of the arena? I think it'd be kind of cool to have, like, power-ups that you can do that with. Um, like, you can just sort of, uh, you know, pick up, like, reagents to build, like, a delayed sound trap or something like that. Sure, yeah. And you just, like, you know, pick them up, collect them, whatever, set it up over in the corner, and then just, like, it'll make a really loud sound, and they'll be like, oh, my gosh, like, 
uh, you know, the enemy's over here and they'll like, they'll just kind of go far away from you and stuff like that. So, um, stuff like that. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. I think we're at the end of our first show of 2018. Any uh, final closing thoughts? I think that, I'm good. That we yeah. must know. We're good. All right. We're totally also, uh, F you 2017. Yeah. Fuck you 2017. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Original title of the show. Yeah. <laughs> that we probably should have kept. Same TBH. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Thank you very much for everybody for joining us on our first show of 2018. I'm Mr. Bond. I'm Tormod. And I'm Saxon. We'll leave you with our new closing track, a remix from Mario Kart Wii entitled Wind in Your Hair by Overclocked University. Good night, everybody. Ciao. Adios. <laughs>